you do? Well, I got stuck. Jeff's dead. You cracked the radiator. I'm Bro, shocked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two of the Snowed In series. Today, we're gonna go on a big group snowmobile ride with 20 plus dudes, some of which have never ridden snowmobiles before. Uh, we're gonna rip around all the vehicles. We're gonna see Cletus probably rip the uh, Hellcat Jeep. We're going to see Weston, see what he can do in his Ford Ranger. Uh, with some diesel is still under the hood of his Monster Max, kind of where he's been all weekend. And it's just gonna be kind of a play day. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna have some recoveries. The sand car is no longer. I broke it last night. Ow! So got that out of the way. And uh, the weather's starting to come, so we're gonna see a little bit of snow today. So this video is just gonna be kind of a smorgasbord of this, that, the other thing, but I can guarantee you it's gonna be highly entertaining. So buckle up, stay tuned, let's go play in the snow. check this out this is a crash site of a world war ii plane they made it home from korea they stopped for uh, fuel in seattle or san francisco and they were making it from here uh headed to cheyenne to fuel up and went down right here in the middle of winter in 30 feet of snow 50 or 60 gi's on board just body parts all over the hill there's, there's a memorial for it they were picking up heads and arms and stuff and the conditions were so bad that they they had to leave it for like six months till the snow melted and the army had a whole like security detail up here blocking it off it's wild. You can see that's the whole hillside right there, all wiped out, took out all the trees. It's crazy. We'll go back down this ravine, and then where we were in that the field down there, we'll keep going up that draw. What have you done so far today, Weston? Ate a sandwich. I went snow wheeling on my Ford Ranger. That went pretty well. I got stuck like five or six, ten times, but. We're not really going to talk about that. What's up? I'm Michael from Lincoln, Nebraska. Got a call from Dave. We're going to call a random fan and invite him to the Snowed In series. We wanted to extend the invite if you want to come out for the uh, Snowed In series. We'll cover your, your flights and we'll cover the whole trip. Said you should come out, hang out. So I said, I'll be there. Before we get too deep into this video, I need to get my daily nutrition. AG1 is the sponsor of today's video. And I'm about to show you why this stuff's so important. But first, I wanted to go and do a couple more hot laps because it's awesome. Nope. So, as you guys can probably imagine, what we're doing up here is not cheap. It costs a lot of money, which is why we're very grateful to have sponsors like AG1 who sponsor these videos to help offset some of the costs. I'm gonna take my AG1. This stuff is super easy to use. I take these travel packs with me. You just pour it in cold water, you shake it up, 75 different vitamins, minerals, nutrients, superfoods, whole foods, probiotics, prebiotics, all the stuff that makes your gut feel better, all the stuff that gives you better energy, all the stuff that makes even your hair and your skin better. And literally, I love the taste. Guys, AG1 is gonna hook you up. Click the link in my description below, go to their website, place your order. They're gonna give you five of these travel packs for free, plus a one year supply of vitamin D3K2 for free. That's a huge value. Start here, see how your body responds. The amount of energy, focus, and just overall wellness that I feel is like very noticeable. Click the link in my description below, place your order, get your free travel packs and vitamin D, and thank you AG1 for sponsoring the video. Now, I've got stuff to break. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet the America's most wanted. Oh, geez, this snow's deep. I would like you to meet the America's most wanted Hellcat Jeep Gladiator. 707 horsepower, and this thing is flawless. The way the guys at AMW 4x4 work is incredible. They don't use anything but the best of the best of the best. Everything on this Jeep looks factory. Everything works factory. It does not drive like a vehicle that's had its engine pulled out and replaced with something much larger. It drives like it literally rolled off the assembly line. But that's just half of the magic here. The other half is those giant Helltrax snow tracks. I've had my eyes on Helltrax for a couple of years now. It's a company that uh, developed these tracks. They debuted them at SEMA. I've seen clips of them running around the internet. And honestly, I thought it's too good to be true. So I got a hold of the guys at Helltrax and AMW 4x4 and said, get me one of those machines. I want to test it to see if it actually does 
what you guys say it does. And driving this thing around has got me so freaking excited for my Jeep Gladiator that's being built at AMW. Now keep in mind, they have a few different engine packages. They have a 707 uh, Hellcat package, they have the Demon 840, and then they have the Elephant 1000 horsepower. Well on my build, they're using a Demon motor with a much larger Whipple supercharger, which means I'm gonna be making close to 1100 horsepower when I'm all said and done. So I can't even imagine driving this thing with an extra four or 500 horsepower, but that's what mine's gonna be. I think it's almost impossible to get stuck. I'm sure you could do it, but you'd have to try. You'd have to like back into a tree and get the tracks wedged. Deep snow, it just doesn't care. <laughs> Sounds like uh, a bunch of haters crying. sure I've seen everything this Jeep can do. Well, I'm wrong. Like I pointed the Jeep at this hill and hands was like, no, don't. Like everyone thought it was a joke. And then I went up it and we just literally climbed straight up and the Jeep didn't slip once. That was, that was wild. That was unexpected. Now it's given me this insane sense of like confidence. I hate everything about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so do I. I can't control it. I know what the Jeep's capable of. I mean, listen to this thing. We're doing 40, 50 miles an hour, like without even breaking a sweat. Sick though, if you do it in a moving vehicle. I'm impressed you've had it this long. What are you trying to say? You struggle keeping things intact for very long. I got this monster truck Ford Ranger. This thing's meant for mudding, but it's got 49 inch tires on it. So we're out here in the snow, we're gonna see what it's gonna do. And I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna get buried. But there's really only one way to find out. It's not gonna stop us from sending it regardless. got pretty scenery to be broken down in out here. Look, a random man on a four-wheeler. That's pretty to look at. Are you stuck? No. Okay. Did you just get stuck as well? Yep. Kansas guys are not meant for this kind of weather. Durango's. Not fucking hell. Not sponsored. Hey, are you stuck? We came to help you. But yeah, we're stuck. How are you stuck? Uh, I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Yep. yep. It appears as if we won't be able to help you, so we'll see you later. Oh, okay. Go ahead and leave then. How's that gonna work for you? Oh. Shit. 
the good news is, is we, we found Weston. He's safe. We're safe. Dave's on his way and we'll get everything unstuck. Hey, what's up, buddy? Let me jump in. I got the quad slammed. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, that's great. You know, we, re we received a distress call from Weston, too. Why uh, is he stuck? Oh, he's buried somewhere. <laughs> did you hear him? He's somewhere. Why, why do these ATVs even have two-wheel drive? No, I don't know who was driving, you, you but she's buried. I'm jumping Let's here. go. Pilot One boys. thing about the Snowden series oh. is there's a lot of opportunities for recovery. You know, it's not easy to, to get these quads stuck, no, but in two-wheel drive, she sunk right in. Why don't we go on a mission and try to get this stuck? Well, I'm sure we will. I'm going to pull <laughs> Weston out. I'm sure that'll be a challenge. The front track's wanting to fold. Is that normal? Yeah. I'll pull around behind you. We'll take okay. you out that way. Piece of cake. I'll just wait here. You just don't build them like they used to, do they? At least you guys thought we we're close to the ground here and we could just get out. No, 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 no. Look, I can keep going and going and not touch the ground. It's deep. Dave, catch. <laughs> I said catch, dude. He did get it out. I mean, job well done. Just not able to drive. Dave, I will find out who was driving this. Yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. I'm not gonna have that on my watch. We got Roman out. Unfortunately, the track popped off, which has been kind of a common occurrence this weekend. So we're gonna come back with the snowcat, get that, drag it back to the trailer. So in the meantime, we're gonna go see if we can find Weston, the original distress call. See if Roman can teach us a thing or two about off-road recovery. What'd you do? Well, I got stuck, right? Yeah. And that was unfortunate. I see that. Those, yeah, they're stuck oh, yeah. too. When you got stuck, you were just like, give it more gas? Yeah, isn't that, the, isn't that how you do it? I guess. I figured more throttle, more better. This is gonna be interesting. All right, uh, we'll give you a couple tugs and then see if the Jeep will do it. If not, we'll have to go to Snowcat. Oh, okay. I'm thinking it's snowcat. I don't know. Don't underestimate the Jeep. Oh, the Jeep will do it. It's got a Hellcat in it. That's what the Ranger needs. If the Ranger had a Hellcat, it'd have been done on it. Keep telling him to air his tires down, but he doesn't uh, seem to want to go much deeper. Here. And it's still not working. Well, I didn't say I was compensating well. Hey. All right. You can get in. Soft shackles, yeah, yank them rope. You guys know the drill. We're just gonna give them a couple of bump and tugs here. The whole goal here is to not get the Jeep stuck and not break the tracks. You're gonna need to pull me out.
and steeper. So hopefully, get him out right here. I didn't know I had massage chairs in it. Shackle. Kind of saw that one coming. We were on a pretty sharp mounting point. You know what would be nice? Is if when you pulled, he was in neutral or reverse. I think his truck's dead now. We gotta start slowing down a little bit, otherwise, uh, we're gonna be SOL. Hey, is the truck dead? Yeah. Truck's dead? Yeah, the, the charging system quit working like 10 minutes ago. This might be a job for the snowcat then. Jeep was doing it. The problem is with him being dead, that's just completely dead weight, so. That's even gonna be a pull for the snow cat. So I'm gonna go grab that. Hey, we're not in Kansas anymore, buddy. You know, I figured that out. We're not this much snow in Kansas. This thing works perfectly in Kansas, I'll okay. tell you that. Dude, this thing is so freaking impressive. We are just mobbing through multiple feet of fresh powder. And this thing just keeps going. Look at this thing. It's just freaking beautiful. Piston Bully 100 passenger cabin. I was a Prenoth guy for a long, long time. You know, I have the Prenoth Beast. Um, I've had the BR350s. They're all really great machines and that's just kind of what I've always gone for. I've never, I think I've only owned one Piston Bully, but I use them all the time because they're uh, my buddy Jim Peterson equipment. But I think I'm a Piston Bully guy now. Mind the guys who's the king of the jungle around here. guy a break dude he's hooked this thing up 95 times i got it started she's got 11 volts so i'm not sure how long i'll stay running i gotta keep my foot on the gas to keep it running but if we can get up there on that flag section there i think we're golden it's just getting up there will be the pain <laughs>
feel so bad about what I did. You pushed us over. You cracked the radi You cracked the radiator. The only thing that you could do to make it up to us if you, you just covered this entire thing up with snow and we just completely forgot about it. Write it off, call the insurance. Yeah, when you pushed it over, look, the fitting That's it up. That's not true. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. The fitting right there cracked off and all the coolant's laying right there. Hell yeah. It's a good shot. <laughs> It's been all right. You are being attacked from all angles right now. Can I ride this R1 on tracks, dude? After you fix it, Dave cracked the radiator. I'm Broke shocked. <laughs> uh, how? Uh, I ran it over with the snowcat. Hey, ran into it. Cletus's sand reel taken out. The R1 taken out. Now you just got pretty much just Monster Max now. You could go and slash the tires. Perfect running with no coolant you know i mean do you really need coolant we're in snow we'll get it fixed up all right i'm gonna try out the old uh r1 with the cracked radiator based off of my track record this weekend i should be able to make it about 15 20 feet before the thing grenades your brake is actually like the front brake there because there is no front where you're going you don't need brakes <laughs> He went right for the hill, dude. He wasn't messing around. Crab might be a new R1 rider in town. He can have it. <laughs> really dirty. It might be harder to go downhill than it is uphill. It's definitely harder. It's got brand new carbides and there's not much snow on that hill, so it's really dirty. Uh, I think he's having issues. I saw it turn off, the lights flickered, uh, mm, and now he's off the bike. That thing rips. I, I shut it off because it was hot and then the battery died. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. We that thought it blew thing. up for sure. No, no, I just killed it at the top. That thing's fun, dude. I want to ride that one. It doesn't overheat. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's sick. If you can get a line, just open it up. You hopped off it, dude, and started walking away, and you never looked back, and no. we go, oh, it's blown <laughs> up, no, dude. I was waiting for it to blow up. <laughs> the uh, R1 with track kit was yeah. actually way more fun than I thought. I know you're really busy, like, breaking everyone's stuff, yeah. but I want to go ahead and go back to our contract and borrow the Gladiator on tracks, so... What's the contract say See about? A little bit. It's just a kind of oh, note. Section, don't ask. Don't. Section five A. Oh, sub sub says Cletus can yeah. borrow the. Oh, it's all yours then. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> this thing's sick, dude. This thing's foul. It's so fast. It actually works good too. It's not like all our other tracked hodgepodge units we built for this weekend. This actually functions correctly. Hold on. How do we shut the window? Do I pull the string? Is this a fat truck? Hell yeah. I'm just playing with it. Yeah, good. All right, let's see how we go here. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is fun. I like this. Which is amazing. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> Are we gonna double it? Are we gonna, wait, let me see how heavy it is. I should double it. Oh, that's a lot, dude. Can we like, who are we aiming nah, for? Whoever's right over the railing. Garrett's on the corner. Yeah, it's not yeah, fluffy. Well, it's gonna like, be like. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Woohoo! I saw Roman. I saw Roman. Uh, the way I met him was, um, went through a really rough patch in my life, like super, super rough. Um, ended with like a wellness check in my house, right? Like my therapist sent like eight cops to my house, kicked in the door, super scary. Uh, my wife kicked me out, it was like a big deal. And so I was sleeping on just a sleeping bag in, a, in one of my rentals that I own, like in an apartment. And just like rock bottom, everybody had Instagram. I didn't have social, I didn't have, I had like Facebook. 
use like marketplace, that's it. So I download Instagram and uh, scrolling through and Dave was like a sponsored video. It was like he posted a video of some guys working on his shop or something like, oh yeah, they're in, it's in the rain, like these guys are working on my shop, like whatever. And so I was like, who is this guy? Like I've never seen Diesel Brothers, I've never seen anything. And so, um, so I watched the video and then obviously the algorithm like started feeding me more videos of Dave. So I was like, this guy's real. I don't know who he is, but. It's, what I like about this is not, he's not like a personal development junkie, somebody who just bounces from one guru to the next. Like, he didn't know anything about anybody. Yeah, yeah I didn't know who like Tony Robbins was, nothing. Like I knew, I didn't even know that like people got up every day and were like, I want to become a better person. Like I'd never been to the gym, like none of that stuff. And so I started following Dave and like he talked to some about, like I could see that coming through like in his videos. Like even though he's about trucks and stuff, like I'm not a truck guy, uh, never watched Diesel Brothers. So then he launches the Heavy Checklist podcast. And so I started following that and then like literally went through, did all that stuff. And uh, um, I just kind of stayed in touch with them. So then he, uh, so there was like a, giveaway on his podcast or whatever that's how we really got connected like being able to me being able to access him um and so then yeah just started going through that just everything that he recommended and so it's kind of led me to be here like my life's totally different and literally just followed a step by step st step by step like he's like and that's literally what he said is like he's like hey like we're all like i aspire to be a pilot i'm not a pilot i know a lot of you guys are and so i was like man i want to be a pilot and he's like yeah he's like as pilots we have a checklist it's written in blood means if you don't do this. And so like every episode of the podcast, they would just literally give like, and I know like uh, um, Marcus Wing is on there and I really identify with that guy because he'd always ask questions too. He'd be like, yeah. he's like the devil's advocate for like, he's always like, I don't know what's going on Regular here. Joe. Regular guy. And so I, I like, I, I had the same questions, but I'm like, well, if Dave did it, like I can do it. And so like, I'm standing here today as like a Marriage test. Marriage is better. Yeah, I'm back with my wife. Like everything's oh, better. Yeah, like better. everything's better. Career's better. Oh, like yeah. everything's like on the up and up. And literally, yeah, thanks for this guy. Woo! That's just a cool story. That's awesome, man. It's just a guy, you know when you give somebody advice and, and you're giving really good advice and you can tell they're not going to listen? Yeah. He's the type of guy that whatever you tell him, like I was giving him advice about snow chains versus snow tires and he's like just consuming it. <laughs> and he, he actually follows it and... I take, I put weight to it. Like I go, I go try it right away. Like you implement know what's that. Crazy. Right We're right. all here right now because of Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Think about it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Dave. Appreciate it.